Hey, for today's tutorial, I'm going to be telling you guys how to do these uh, knot and charm bracelets. They're real pretty and they you can make them, make different colors or combine them. And they go with whatever you wear. The materials you're going to need is this satin ribbon. You can get it at Michael's or any other place you know of that sells this type. Hobby Lobby maybe. Also, here's different colors. You're going to need scissors, this metal um, jewelry trimmer, and this tool. I'm not sure what it's called, but you get it at Michael's in the jewelry section. This is to make um, twists with the, in the, for the, the metal sticks. And tweezers. Regular tweezers, or if you have specialty tweezers for jewelry, those are, those are good. And these. Um, these you can get them at Walmart or or any jewelry section um, store. And these are just metal sticks with a tip. And they are good for making with beads. Um, I'm going to show you right now. Also, beads. Whatever color you want. Right now I'm going to make, finish up, I already started, finish up this um, yellow, yellow colored bracelet. So as you can see I'm using yellow beads and my charms. Just yellow and clear beige um, beads and silver. Silver charms. So to start off you cut the length of it. It's about I would say about you might use about two yards and then cut it in half. I use five I cut it in five um, strands I'm sure you'll you'll know how, how long you want it and about how long you need it's better to cut it long enough that way you're not you don't run short on the string because then you might have to do it again so it's five uh, five strings you can mix it with ribbon or, or other types of, of strings Next, you see these black spots. It's because I was using a candle. You need a candle with your matches. And you're going to cut it diagonally, like that. Something like that. You want to make it diagonal. That way, when you burn it with the candle, it, 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 it gets thinner. That way the thin, the thin charms can go in. Now I already did that on these, which is my last, my last set of a bulk, bulk of charms and, and beads. I do mine of four, one, two, three, four, four bunches and one, two, three, four, five knots because my, my wrist is, is not that thick. But for my mom, um, which is thicker, I've used five. And the more bunches, the the bulkier it looks. Well, it might be prettier, but it depends on how you like it. How you like it. So I'm gonna show you real quick how to do these, which is where I use my my sticks, my metal sticks, and with a bead and a little. Um, I don't know what that's called. It's like uh, these. You use them to separate beads and bracelets. It's pretty simple. You just grab your stick. You put this one first. And it'll stay. As you can see, it doesn't fall off. And then you grab your bead. Whichever one you're going to put. And see how pretty that looks. And you can even add another one. I'm going to use this pretty flower. And then you grab this tool, you start at, at about the middle, and you just twist it. And then you twist it again, and again. So you, you're going to have sort of like a keychain type, a key ring. That way you can slip it in easier, and it'll hang, and it'll be longer. So I have several made right here. You can use different sizes of charms and 
and beads. Also, these balls are very um, cute. I use these in my. So, you just stick it in, and you keep um, messing around with it, just adding here and there in the different strings. Don't forget, you have several strings, so you want to add beads in every string. Don't skip a string because it'll look kind of weird. So you just skip around here and there. That's what I do. And I'm doing it pretty fast, but you're just slipping in the, the different beads. You're almost done. There was one over here. Okay, I'll go around that one. So you just want to check that you have you have added beads to each one of them. There is no specific uh, number of beads or charms. You just go along as, as many as you have or as many as you want. I add about right here I have one, two, three, four, four charms and a bunch of beads. And here too, about four, four of these things, these hanging, and then these in between. That way you can look bulky. Next, you just do a knot. Make sure you do it tight so that the beads are not hanging, so that they, they're they steady. You, you tighten it, and you leave a little bit of room, like that. And there, I just made that bulk. Now we're going to add the last pieces. Um, you want to add... Next, I'm going to do this, this part. These are the last touches. That way, your bracelet, the strings hanging don't look so, so plain. Um, and that's what I'm going to do, but that's what you do. And then you just add this closing... Closing... Um, charm that way you have a bracelet that you can close it and open it easily or if you don't have this you can also simply tie it just tie your bracelet like this and there oops like that and you just add charms to all of these you don't want to add the big charms, you just want to add the smaller charms, like these little balls. So you just add it, and you want to make sure you cut. You cut your strings, and cut them by one by one, or at the same time. And there is the pretty bracelet you just made. Just needs the, the charms over here, but get the idea pretty much. Look how pretty that is, and that can go with yellow or blue jeans and a white t-shirt, or you can combine it different colors. So that's my tutorial. I hope you all like it, and um, let me know if you make your own. Show me pictures. Well, bye.